Good afternoon, everyone. Lance Mechanist here, bringing you a World of Warships Legends Tier 2 Showcase video. Last night we did the Germans. Uh, tonight we are going to show you the French, the French ships. Now, as we've seen before, there are two Tier 2 ships, a cruiser and a destroyer. We're going to start off with, of course, the cruiser. As you can see, uh, she's already fully upgraded, including the, uh, including the, the front, including the hull B, which gave us, uh, four secondary gun turrets, improved the rudder shift time, and, of course, the health. Uh, torpedoes and aiming systems, and then the fusilier, and then the tier three. Okay, so, her loadout for the tier two is pretty much like the others. She's got some high explosive shells, she's got armor piercing, and she's got torpedoes. She still only has one consumable damage control. She's got five slots for five boosters and camouflage. Her stats are pretty good now that she's been upgraded. Uh, hit points are 20,300. Armor ranges from 6 to 30 millimeters, so a bit low on the armor spectrum. Uh, torpedo damage reduction is 4%. That means she's got a torpedo belt, um, an armored torpedo belt. Okay, with artillery, our main battery consists of four uh, twin-mounted 139 millimeter cannons. Uh, with a firing range of 11.7 kilometers, reload time of 12 seconds, a bit on the slow side, uh, 180 degree turn time of 25.7 seconds. Uh, these basically, basically that, basically I, I have not explained this, but that does not mean they go completely around. These turrets, that is how long it takes from guns to shift from one side of the ship to the opposite side. So from port to starboard, starboard to port. High explosive damage is 2,000. She has an 8% chance to set fire. And maximum armor piercing damage is 2,781. Now, unlike the other ships, well, not unlike the other ships, the Americans had them, but unlike the other ships, other cruisers, she's got a secondary armament, four single-mounted 90-millimeter cannons. These have a firing range of three kilometers, a reload time of four seconds. They have a high; ex they carry only high explosive shells, and they have a HE damage max of 1,300 and a five and a five percent chance of setting stuff on fire. Next is her torpedo launchers. She's got four triple barrel 550 millimeter. Lance torpedoes or, la or torpedo launchers. Uh, that's two on each side, two starboard, two port. They've got a reload time of 84 seconds, so a minute 24 seconds. A 180 degree turn time of 7.2 seconds. Maximum output damage is 12,233. They are detectable by sea up to 1.2 kilometers away from target further if the target is using sonar um, but that's uh, that's an ability and consumable we'll discuss later on torpedo range is 6.3 kilometers so about mid range between 5 to 7 kilometers torpedo speed is 57 knots her anti-air defense is actually pretty good she's got two 13.2 millimeter machine guns and four 90 millimeter and her four 90 millimeter secondary guns also count as anti-air guns okay now we get to her armor let's just clear this off first we see her bow and stern armor uh, bottom is rated at 10 millimeters four in plate is six the deck is also six millimeters and the athwart ship goes from six to ten millimeters same thing with the bo same thing with her aft end the bottom is ten millimeter thick plating is six millimeter deck is six 
and the athwart ship though is a solid 10. Okay, next we've got her torpedo protection. This is what I meant by the 4% torpedo reduction. She has got a armored belt that is protecting her citadel. Uh, if we overlay the citadel, you can see how the uh, citadel kind of sits in between the, uh, the armored belt there. But yeah, the uh, armor belt is about 13 millimeters thick. Still thin, but still, it's better than nothing. Next, we have her superstructure. Now, as you can see with her superstructure, she does have some thick armor, about 29 to 33 millimeters for the conning tower for the command area. Everything else is uh, light blue, that is 6 to 14 millimeters light armor. The conning tower itself ranges about 30 millimeters. Uh, the superstructure plating is uh, 6 millimeters all the way around. Okay, next we have her turrets. And these are, these are fully enclosed turrets. The first time we've seen them. They are, they consist of a rear plate, a barbette armor, bottom plate, frontal plate, and side plate and a top plate. The rear plate is 15 millimeters thick, so actually these are actually in the dark blue. 15 millimeter thick barbette, that's the, uh, as you can see, that's the section that goes into the hull, not the turret itself. It's 15 millimeters thick. Bottom plate's 15, frontal plate is 15. The side plate's 15 and the top plate's 15. So she's got 15 millimeters armor all the way around her turrets. That's actually pretty good. Next, we have our auxiliary room armor. That is a small auxiliary room. Um, Athwart ship is 6 millimeters thick. Plating is 13 millimeters. Kind of ties into the torpedo belt. And the deck ranges from uh, 13 to 20 millimeters thickness. So ranging from the dark blue to the uh, green, almost green color. And lastly, we have her citadel. Her citadel is relatively thinly armored. Uh, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10, 14 for the deck and 10 for the athwart ship. So yeah, her, t her uh, citadel is pretty thinly armored. It comes out a bit, it comes out of the water line a bit. Uh, beneath the water line, as you can see though, she is protected by torpedoes. Um, if we lay the, okay, yeah, if we lay the auxiliary room armor above it, she is kind of protected from plunging fire. All in all, and considering the size of the ship, the Citadel actually is pretty small. And uh, the Citadel, again, if you hit a ship in the Citadel, that counts as a basic critical hit. You can quick, and if you get several critical hits on the Citadel, that can count as a devastating strike, or what they call a dev strike. Okay, her overview. She is fast, she has above average speed, and she is paper, but she, and her armor is paper thin. Uh, higher caliber shells may overpin the armor without arming, causing minimal damage. A light cruiser designed after the end of World War I that revealed an acute shortage of this type of ship in the French Navy. The primary features of the ship were high speed, weak armor, powerful torpedo armament, and main guns placed in full turrets. Her year of design was 1999. It does not say how many of ships were in her service. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then. Okay, in the destroyer, we've got the Fusilier. Now, I have gotten the ship up to tier three, but I have not upgraded it yet. Her loadout consists of high explosive shell, armor piercing, and torpedoes. She does not have a. Unlike the other destroyers, she does not have a smoke generator. She has damage control party and engine boost. Five booster slots and a camouflage slot. Okay. Her stat survivability is low, is about 
7,900 health. Armor is 3 to 10 millimeters thick. Her artillery, she has four 100 millimeter main guns. They have a range of, they have a firing range of 8.2 kilometers, a reload of 6.6 .6 seconds, a turn time of 8.3 seconds. Maximum shell damage HE is 1420, 7% chance to set on fire, and armor piercing is 1600, is 1600 even. Her artillery, she's, her torpedoes, she's got two twin mount 550mm torpedo tubes, they have a reload time of 35 seconds, a turn time of 7.2 seconds, Max damage of 7,433. They are detectable at sea by about at about 1.2 kilometers, and they have a range of 7.5 kilometers and a top speed of 52 knots. Now, with this, now two twin mount torpedoes, that means they are midship. They are located amidship and can fire either port or starboard. Okay, torpedo. Okay, maneuverability. Uh, maximum speed is 34.7 knots, about average for a destroyer. Turning circle radius is 530 meters. Rudder shift time is 4 seconds. Pretty agile for a destroyer. Her concealment is 97. That is, like all destroyers, excellent. It's about average. Detectability by sea is 5.6 kilometers. Firing main gun is 8.2. Uh, I don't believe I've explained detectability, but, uh, just in case I haven't, detectability is basically how far out the enemy can see you. The base detectability is the range by C. You have detectability. If you fire your main guns, you're detectable. You are more visible. If you're on fire, you are more visible to the enemy. Uh, detectability when on fire is 7.6 kilometers. Uh, detectability by air if uh, if they ha if the opposing team has carriers and they're spotting. Uh, detectability by air is 2.8 kilometers. After firing, the main gun is 4.8 kilometers, and detectability when the ship is on fire is 5.8 kilometers. Her guaranteed detectability is 2 kilometers, and when firing in smoke is 2 kilometers. Okay, let's go to her armor. As you can see, for an aft armor is, let's see, bottom is 6, plating ranges from 6 to 9, the deck is 9, bottom is 6, 6 to 9 millimeters, and 9 millimeters all around. So, roughly 6 to 9 millimeters for the hull armor for an aft. Her uh, superstructure armor, again, is light. About, uh, yeah, six, yeah, both, both, uh, six, six millimeters armor thickness. Okay, with her armor, she, with her cannon, she has shielded turrets, shields from the front, side, and top. That shielding is, uh, three to six millimeters all around. And lastly, we have her citadel. Sits about midship under the torpedo tubes and the funnels. Um, it is on the thicker side at nine millimeters, uh, 10 millimeters for the bottom, nine millimeters for the deck. The athwart ship is nine millimeters and the belt ranges from six to nine. So overall, she's a pretty good little destroyer. All right, let's see. Overview. Okay, she's agile. She has an, She can change directions easily. Um, no smoking. This destroyer lacks a smokescreen generator. This destroyer was built was offered soon after the end of World War One. The reason for this ship's significantly increased dimension was the wider range of missions the destroyer would be tasked with during military combat. Uh, but it says the year of design was 1914. Is that a information glitch? Uh, a little bit of a little bit of uh, 
information error here. It says it, says it was offered soon after World War I. 1914, World War I had started. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do uh, AI matches first with both the Friant and the Fusilier. But first, let me go through the upgrades and uh, go ahead and upgrade the Fusilier. Okay, first... The Fusilier, we're going to be doing the Hull B. This increases her hit points by 1400 rudder shift time but 1.1 seconds. This increases her torpedo launch tube so that they're both triples at uh, two triple three launchers and increases the AA mounts. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Next is her artillery. Uh, looks like it's an upgrade. And then finally, her targeting systems. Okay. So her stats increased. Uh, four 100 millimeter cannons, about the same. Uh, HE damage jumped to 1521. AP jumped to 1700. Torpedoes, she now has two triple launch torpedoes on uh, midships and her AA she now has one 37 millimeter uh, cannon that uh, for AA defense let's see yeah you can see that uh, I think you can see the AA gun there midship looks like all right so let's go ahead and take the Friant out um, yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take the Friant out. This will be the first. This will be the versus AI battle. So, here we go. Alright, the map is Big Race, Capture the Base, that's the objective. Our map is pretty simple, we've got five destroyers and four cruisers. Let's see, Foirong, Romulus, Romulus. Uh, people have not wasted time getting those uh, new Pan-European destroyers out. Regional dialect, gotta love it. <laughs> Affirmative. As you can see, once she gets up to speed, she's uh she maneuvers pretty easily, but at low speed, she really does not maneuver that well. What I'm going to try and do is get over here where the bulk of our forces are, and basically we're just going to go through the straight, I guess. Okay, we've got a Fusilier there, a Toronto.
Yeah, that Fusilier went straight through the torpedo screen. We did not leave the Dursky enough. Okay, yeah, Dursky. Oh, they took out each other. Got the we just we did heavy damage. We just did heavy damage to that to that cruiser. À tous les bâtiments, demande d'appui feu. Okay, our forces have started capturing the base. to try and show you how the torpedoes but well maybe oh we got them with the secondaries it looks like okay so that was the versus AI battle with the Friant we hit targets 43 times, no torpedoes, all cannons, secondary hits with the two hits, six citadel hits, and destroyed two targets. All in all, not too bad, second place. Okay, next is going to be the standard battle. Just give me a second here. Is Solomon Islands domination. Oof, we have got five destroyers, including the tier three class horn. We're up against uh, four. <laughs> oh lord, yeah, they are not wasting any time busting out those pan pan your open destroyers. Look at this. We got three Romuluses on our side. Four Romulus is on their side, a Wakatake, and ours is a and our tier three is a class horn, and we got a Smith. Odd man out. Fryant and St. Louis for our cruisers. They've got oh they got six destroyers instead of uh, five. They've got a Chakuma for a cruiser. Both sides have the Wyoming for battleship. We've got the Langley for the carrier, and they've got the Komsomolets, which is the Russian. 
All right, so I'm paired with the Smith and both Rom, uh, the Romulus and the Class Horn. Okay, so let's see what I'm about to do. I guess I'll sw I guess I'll use high explosive at first to see how that works. Yep, we got aircraft and à tous les bâtiments. Cible stratégique repérée à cette position. Yep, we got the battleship there. Nous avons été détectés. Yeah, that's a torpedo bomber, so he's going to try and come at our broadside or he's just going to ignore us possibly. Switch to armor piercing. Okay, we got two ricochets. It, th those didn't do shit. We're gonna have to get in if we're gonna take out the Wyoming we got to get in close and use our torpedoes because our cannons are not powerful enough to pierce that armor well maybe not it depends on where you hit I guess okay we got a ooh. Yeah, he's fire. He fired a full broadside at us, but looks like uh, our cannons over his cannons overpinned us. Okay, Rom. Okay, oh, there Romulus just took out our Rom, Rom one of ours. Well, Kataka just took out our St. Louis. We've already lost our battleship, our cruiser, and one of our destroyers, and two of our destroyers. Bloody frickin' hell. Okay, they just lost one of their cruisers. Yeah, it's funny. This guy's running. He's running. Get back here and fight, coward. <laughs> He's leading me right to the darn carrier. Ooh. Yeah, we just got a heavy hit that time. All right. Come on, turn. I did not give you permission to stop turning. We was, uh, oh, we lost all our points. Damn, the carrier and me were the last men, st were the last one standing. <sighs> well, I don't know what happened. I guess uh, some of the players 
were either very, I guess, e some, I guess either the opposite team was very experienced or our team was just that inexperienced. Well, and either way, we showed the fr we showed the Friant, we put it through its paces, and we nearly destroyed the battleship. Okay, next up is the Fusilier. We're going to be doing the AI battle first. That actually was pretty close, though, wasn't it? I mean, sometimes the battles are a coin toss. There's no, there's no guarantee. There's no such thing as a guaranteed win. It just really depends on who you're up against. Hang on a minute. Need to wet my whistle. <laughs> okay, this map. One base each. Capture the base. We've got four destroyers, three cru uh, four cruisers, and a carrier. Huh. Normally we'd have a battleship somewhere in here. Okay, now for the destroyer, I'm going to switch to armor piercing. And I am going to maybe skirt along the outside here okay that's a friant carriers launched his dive bombers ours our carriers launched his torpedo bombers who do we have on carrier come somalets and we're up against the langley all right and again, we got a Romulus in our team, so. Oh. Ooh, that, that deflected. That didn't. Two shells penetrated. One shell shattered and another deflected. Okay, let's launch our torpedoes, switch back to high explosives. Okay, Toronto just took out the St. Louis. Looks like the Wix has the same idea as me. We're both going after the carrier. Let me get that engine boost going. Put on some speed. I'm going to at least get one kill in this AI game. Still out of range of my main guns, though. Okay, engine boost picks our speed up to about 41 knots. Let's 
Notre équipe a pris l'avantage. Ouh. La victoire est à notre portée. Good grief. Yeah, we are getting swarmed. Shoot, shoot, get out of here. Got him. I said I was going to get one kill in this AI match, and I meant it. Target hit five times with torpedoes, 50 times with targets, one incapacitated, one destroyed, two detected, three flooded. Even with one kill, I still managed to come out on top. Huh. All right. Next up is the uh, versus stand is the PVP. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to embarrass myself like I did with the Germans last night. Yeah, rule of thumb is uh, if your ship is smaller than the target, do not try to ram it. Bad, now, battleships and cruisers can ram destroyers, but really, destroyers, uh, they aren't really that good at ramming unless it's against other destroyers. They're just too thinly armored. Okay, the map is polar. Capture the base. We've got three destroyers, two cruisers on both sides. We're up against a Romulus, two, wit, two Wicks, and a Friant, and a St. Louis. <clears throat> Got two Kohlbergs on our side, so no torpedoes from them, just cannons. A Samson, a V-25, and then me. All right. Got to switch back to armor piercing. <clears throat> and we are... Wow, we are spread out. Oh wait, the two cruisers are in a unit together. That's why they're so close together.
probably not too wise, but I think I'm going to run over to this uh, lone V-25. Just in case. You can tell by the size of the bases that this is a small map, somewhat. Yep. À tous les bâtiments, concentrez le tir sur la cible. All right, Romulus. Got my engine boost on. Yeah, I think I scared him. Okay, we've already destroyed two cruisers and their destroyer, their, that Romulus. The Romulus and the Wix is the only one left. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Okay, not bad. Incapacitated. Got him. Destroyer ennemi envoyé par le fond. Nous avons été détectés. À tous les bâtiments, demande d'appui feu. Okay, the Wix just took out the Samson. And we won. We got one kill. <laughs> Didn't do it with torpedoes, did it with cannons. That was still pretty good. And no stu and no stupid actions this time. Well, all right. That was the French warships of the tier two of the tier two. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you want more content like this, or let me know if or let me know if y'all want to see something else. I'll see if I can't. I'll see if I can't oblige. Um. Also, be sure to leave a comment if you like. I'll answer them. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow night or sometime soon, the next one will be the, looks like the Russians and the Italians. Or maybe just, or maybe just the Russians, I don't know. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, Russians, Russians, sorry. 
Yeah, tomorrow night will be the Russians. So. Y'all have a good night. And we'll see y'all next time.